supposed to know which is the right career for us? If we're to spend 40 to 50 hours a week, over 10,000 hours a year, we're going to want to choose a career that we're best at and one that we love. And with the average American changing their jobs up to seven times during their lifetime, finding the right career as soon as possible will contribute to better health and help you live a richer and fuller life. The right career is out there waiting for you, and I'm going to help you find it. I'm Freddie Cochran. Welcome to California Careers. Welcome to another edition of California Careers. I'm Freddie Cochran, your host. We're in Gardena, California today with Barry Anderson of AC Woodcrafts. Hey, Barry. How are you? Good. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate that. Thank you for the opportunity. Right on. Barry is a contractor. What exactly is a contractor? Uh, well, a contractor encompasses many different things. Uh, you've got hundreds of classifications in California and other states for, for contracting. Um, basically, what we do is uh, we're a remodeling contractor and we're also a cabinet shop. Okay. Uh, we do remodels where our uh, bread and butter is to go in and uh, gut a kitchen, gut a couple of bathrooms, uh, rewire it, replumb it, uh, maybe the wood floors or tile. Okay. Uh, and then we also get to build the cabinets and they're all custom cabinets. Okay, so you focus on renovating residences, is yes. that right? Yes, yes. Do you ever do commercial types of buildings? Very or? rarely. Okay, Very rarely. mostly people's homes. Mostly, 95%. Okay, and these aren't new homes, they're existing homes and you're remodeling, say, the kitchens or the bathrooms or? Yes, especially in this uh, day and age, uh, many people, especially older people, most of our clients are 50 and up, mm -hmm. where they've, they like their home, mm -hmm. and with, uh, the, with the, uh, the economy the way it is, rather than sell their house and try and buy something else, they're taking that little bit of money that they might have and fixing their house because they'd like to stay there. Okay, good deal. And so you mentioned that you sort of have a specialty in cabinets. Yes. Can you expand on that for us? What, okay. What um, uh, one of the jobs we're working on right now, it's a, it's a very unique situation where um, there's an existing uh, living room, den, and there was an old kitchen in between the two rooms. And what we did was we took out the, that entire kitchen and, and those kind of cabinets, you couldn't buy those, you couldn't order those cabinets through Home Depot or Craft Made or Thomasville. Mm -hmm. They have to be custom made to fit the, the you know, the, that particular application. I see, I remember uh, one time we were talking, um, isn't it true that once a kitchen is remodeled, you install the appliances first? As you can see right there, we have, there's a, there's a double. What is that? Is that a that's new a stove over that's there? A, that's a double oven. Uh, that, that weighs 480 pounds. There's the cabinet behind you that that's going into. That, wow. That's got to be, it's got to be built to hold that. Okay. It also has to be built for the steam unit for the, uh, again, this is something that you're not going to go to Home Depot and order this cabinet. You mm -hmm. could, mm -hmm. but it will, it will cost you a fortune mm -hmm. compared to uh, what we build is all uh, A1 quality, uh, quality merchandise. Okay. Um, and uh, it's, it fits each application. So we buy the appliances first. Um, the homeowner picks them out, obviously. Yes. Uh, and then once the appliances are purchased, those would go into the, the new setting and then you would measure the new cabinets. Right. Okay. Well, we actually built, we, we lay it out at, you know, at the particular, at the house itself. Okay. Uh, we, you know, we design the room and there's always seven, eight, nine, sometimes 19 changes. Mm -hmm. you know, by the time we wow. got, got done, the, the, the one I'm, I'm talking about in particular, this one, mm -hmm. what we started originally and where the, our finished product is light years away from one another. Wow. But again, this is, uh, this is the fun of doing this. You get to, um, that's why I really like the, the residential because you get to work with the homeowners. So you get mm -hmm. to work with people that when I, w I've got videos of them before we start and I've got videos of them when we're walking out the door for the very last time and they always have a smile on their face. Beautiful. We're gonna get some shots of, uh, of some current projects right. that he's doing later in the show. Um, now, does a contractor in your position, do they do like the plumbing and the tile work and the counters and, and all the goodies that encompass like say a kitchen or a bathroom? Most don't. Uh, we do because we have the expertise to do it. Okay. Um, I've got uh, plumbing and electrical in my, in my field uh, over mm -hmm. the years. Uh, I was an A licensed contractor, which was a general engineering contractor. Mm -hmm. um, and as we were talking earlier, there's so many different classifications of, of contracting. Uh, mm -hmm. Many of them you have to have a minimum of two years experience in that field prior to getting a contractor's license. Okay. Uh, so anybody that wants to 
say you want to be a plumber, you've got to go work for a plumber for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't just just decide one day you want to be a plumber, go down and take your contractor's license. You, mm -hmm. you cannot do that. You can do you can take a test, mm -hmm. but you can't get the license until you can prove a minimum of two years experience in that. And if, actually, I take that back. It's a minimum of five years experience. The education is not necessarily required, but it is recommended. Yes, I mean, okay. I, I would always recommend going going to school. Mm -hmm. To what extent, you know, uh, I've got guys that want it, that come f for me f for a job. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got six years of college mm -hmm. uh, as a, a dental assistant, and mm -hmm. they can't get a job, mm -hmm. you know, or you know, what, whatever the case might be. Um, the important thing is be happy what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I am very fortunate. I love what I do for a living. I always have. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the money really sucks, <laughs> and sometimes the money's really good. Uh -huh. But it's you know I, I maybe I like the roller maybe I like that little roller coaster. You know yeah. I mean you know you have your great days, you have your bad days. Uh, being a contractor, you don't get a check at the end of the, every week. Yeah, that's what the, you know you, you got to perform. You, you know what I love about your career? Uh, excuse me. Um, what I love about this career is you know if you're a homeowner, um, say you you own your own home, you can fix up your own property. Um, Say if it's um, you want to add a bathroom, and you know you're running the hot and cold from another room into another room, into a new bathroom, the home value goes up. You're mm -hmm. living in that home. It's such a sense of accomplishment, and your property is going to be worth more money now. Absolutely, we're we're doing two jobs right now. We're we're the uh, the homeowners are doing exactly that. We're we're uh, we're building a uh, on one particular job in Whittier. We're we're attaching a pool house to the existing house. Wow calling that a, a, a guest bedroom now, mm -hmm. that just added 800 square feet to that house. That wow. just, that they're gonna spend $50,000 and it's gonna jump their property value up 200. Oh, that's amazing. So, so uh, very cool. Yeah, and it's, and people are realizing that. Uh, the ones that do wanna sell and the ones that wanna stay, they, mm -hmm. wanted, they, they want their house built exactly, they want their house exactly the way they'd like it. Yeah. And that's most of, most of our business is that way. Hiring someone like you um, not only gives them a healthier, more pleasant living environment, but also is a uh, boost to their finances. Absolutely. For their equity. Absolutely. Very cool. We're still on the education. Um, the licensing requirements to become a contract, do I necessarily need a license through government to become a contractor? Or well, if you, want to, if you want a contract, if you want to go out and say you want to put up a gate for somebody, mm -hmm. as long as it's under $500, you can do that gate and they can just pay you for that. You don't need a license. No contract right. required under 500 no, bucks. Right, correct. $500 and a cent. We right. need a contract yes. or we need a license. Yes. Let's talk about that license. Um, what is it? How do I get it? Well, you, you the first step is uh, decide what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, what is it? What's the field that you want to go in? So there's different types of licenses. There is, you have an A license, which is a general engineering license, mm -hmm. which uh, give you a funny example. Mm -hmm. uh, when I had my A license, uh, that was general engineering, which is mean, means I can build a road, mm -hmm. I can build curbs. I can do wow. the main the main purpose of, of the A license was to do water mains, sewer mains, gas mains, mm -hmm. electrical mains in the street. Wow. Okay. Physically in the street. Okay. Um, let's say you're building a uh, commercial building and you need fire sprinklers. Mm -hmm. I would be the guy that would bring the with the A license. I would be the guy that would bring the water in from the street, do the hot tap in the street, bring mm -hmm. an eight-inch main into the property, mm -hmm. bring it right up to the building within five feet of building. Okay. Now a C-34 contractor, which is a uh, fire sprinkler contractor, then picks it up from there and takes it into the building. Okay, so you went from an A license to a what? To C-34, a C-34. Okay. A, the, the, the classification might have changed. They changed every couple of, they changed every couple of years, mm -hmm. but, but as far to my best recollection, a C-34 is a fire sprinkler contractor. Okay, so there's an A contractor. Is there a B contractor? Yes, a B contractor is a general contractor. A general contractor, okay. A general contractor can build a residential home. Okay. A, B, a, G, a B contractor cannot do, well, he can build a, a, a commercial building, mm -hmm. but he cannot do, go out in the street. Okay. He cannot, he cannot do anything in the street. But can he, he can do either residence or commercial? Correct. For a general. Okay. Correct. Is there a C license? C license, it, it's, you have A, B, and then C's are, there's hundreds of C's. There's hundreds of C's. Like the fire, fire sprinklers, sprinkler electrical, okay. handyman, uh, landscaper, uh, HVAC. Okay. Uh, Concrete, uh, there's there's hundreds of hundreds okay. of C. Oh, okay. Last time I, I mean I, they were they were up to C ninety eight I think the last time I checked. 
So. Okay, so in order to be eligible to sit for that exam, we sit through that through the state of California. Yes, um, and there's, there's contractor schools that make it easy for you. Okay. M much easier for you, but is you have to have that experience. If you don't have that experience. Is there scholastic type of preparation that we need? Do we need like textbooks and, yes. and goodies like that? Do we need a classroom time? The, the, I would strongly suggest the contractor's uh, schools. Okay. And there's several go very good ones. Okay. Um, one of the easiest ways to find them is uh, any one of the plumbing supply houses, any one of the electrical supply houses, they always have a placard right there. Mm -hmm. Once your contract is licensed and it's a little thing you can take with you, okay. you grab that and you call them and they'll tell you exactly what you want to do. If, you want, okay. if you're, if you're uh, fresh out of school and you, and you enjoy landscaping, you mm -hmm. want to be a, be a landscaper, you got to work for a landscaper. You have to work for a licensed landscaper. Okay. And some classifications might be two years, I think most of them are five years. Okay. But you have to have, you can't just decide to become, now you can own the business, but then you ha you can hire somebody also that has that license. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Say there's RMOs, RMEs. Mm -hmm. uh, what, is that, what does that stand for, RMO? Responsible Managing Officer. Okay. Uh, I can't remember what the RME is, uh, okay. but there's RMO. Responsible Managing Officer would be, uh, say you decide that you want to own a landscaping business, but you've never done landscaping in your life. Mm -hmm. And you've got... Um, Bill, who works over at uh, Joe Blow Landscaping, he's mm -hmm. been working there for 10 <laughs> years. And you, you like the guy, uh -huh. and you decide you want to start a company. So you start the company, but he becomes your responsible managing officer. He's the one that needs to physically take the test. Oh, I but see. But he can work for you. Okay. So you don't necessarily Principal have to own the company. You can be a contractor, but, but you have to have somebody that has the experience. Okay. And is willing to put their name on that license. So if um, I sign up through one of the, say, local contracting schools, I do this classic requirement. Is that maybe a type of a, uh, maybe a six-month type of a, a schooling that we're, we're looking at? They have them where you can cram it for, for three weeks. Three weeks? Every day. Oh, you wow. Know, where you can go to school every day for three weeks. Okay. And then they give you the, they'll give, actually give you the test. Really? Um, okay. And, uh, but the actual, uh, the, they'll, they'll walk you through all the tests and the, I'm not sure if they've gotten it to the point. They probably have gotten to the point now where th where they're qualified to give you the test and mm -hmm. submit it to the state. Okay. You know, it's kind of uh, like kind of like AAA, where you can go down to AAA and you know and do everything at AAA for okay. DMV. So we knock out the scholastic requirement. Then there's also a hands-on requirement where we need to work with someone who has their license, say someone like you. Right. And we need to put in X Y Z amount of hours. Right. Right. Okay. So how many hours generally would we need uh, to become a contractor? Would you say? Well, again, the, the, the state requires, you know, for some classifications, I think it's two years, but most of them is five years. You have years? To, yes. Okay, wow. That's a now, lot of time. Now, common sense tells you, mm -hmm. uh, if you're an attorney, mm -hmm. and you decide you don't want to be an attorney anymore, but now you want to build cabinets, mm -hmm. well, you, you don't just jump into that. You've got to understand the tools. You've got to understand wood. You've got to understand mm -hmm. materials. Mm -hmm. You've got to understand how to market it. You've got to understand how to... Where, how do you, how much do you charge? Mm -hmm. So you need to work for somebody first, mm -hmm. you know, to, to get, or you hire a cabinet builder. I see, okay. You hire a guy that's worked for a cabinet company. So it sounds like a reasonable requirement that, that they do put in their, their due time. Yes, with the license it's only sure. common, it's really common sense. Okay. I mean, there's many people that start a company because they've got, they're retired, they've got some money, and they start a, you know, a, I, I know several people that, uh, that, that start, a, start an auto body shop. They've never touched a car in their life. Mm -hmm. but, they, but their son worked for a body shop mm -hmm. and their, their nephew worked for a body shop so they put the, some money together and they start mm -hmm. the shop. Okay. But the kids run it. But there's, again, body shops are different. That's not a contractor. Mm -hmm. But in, in the same instance, they would be the ones to take the test. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're the one that's fronting the, the you're, you're, it's your company, but you have responsible managing officers okay. that, that are responsible, that, that are on that license. Okay. Let's say we've walked, we've jumped through the hoops. We're now a licensed contractor through the state of California. How do we get a job? Would we come in here? Did you come straight out of school and, and start your own company or do you work for another no, professional? No, I've, I've, I've had, uh, I've been in contracting all my life mm -hmm. since uh, I, I'm a lot older than you. <laughs> Not really, but okay. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 58 years old. Okay. And uh, I've been basically in my own business since I was 19 years old. Okay. Or 20 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've, it's always been somewhat outdoorsy. Uh, 
my dad was a was a craftsman uh, in uh, as a hobby. He he loved building. He was fantastic with wood, and he taught me a lot on on. Uh, he was old school. He was from from Norway. M all mm -hmm. my all my relatives are from Norway, and they, I think they all work with wood. They okay. Build ships. <laughs> so, okay, cool. Uh, but uh, I got m pr I pretty much got my hands on experience with 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 wood when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And I've always I've always built furniture. I built I was building furniture when I was 15 years old. Okay. So you it's something it. I did this as a, what I'm doing now. I did as a hobby all my life, until this economy totally tanked. And okay. um, as an investor, we uh, several of us uh, would buy a house and renovate the house and mm -hmm. and sell a house. And but I would do the cabinets. And so mm -hmm. I, I've dabbled in in this what I'm doing. Uh, I've dabbled in it all my life. Okay. And I've done it. But it was not my full-time occupation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, five years ago, this became my full-time occupation. Well, what else were you doing? I was curious before you were. Well, we stuff. had a pipeline company. Pipeline. We, we did. Okay. We did underground pipeline. Oh, okay. Uh, we did. Uh, I had. I owned South Bay Pipeline from 1989 until uh, 2006. Okay. Now you're the owner of AC Woodcrafts. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Yes. And you've been in this location here in Gardena for how long? Three and a half years. Three and a half years. Okay. We're going to get a shot of the, the location. It's pretty lengthy. Um, can you take us through a typical day as a contractor? When you get here in the morning, what are you guys doing here every day? Well, my guys usually beat me here because I usually will go hit a hit a job site, maybe hit Home Depot or a, or a supply house. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I'm here at 6 o'clock in the morning, sometimes I'm here at 8.30. Mm -hmm. But my guys always have something ready to go for the next day. So they'll usually have, uh, as we're building this cabinet, I started mm -hmm. this last night and they jumped wow, right on that's it. Wow, that's from last night, you've gotten that far already? Uh, that's in two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we'll get that uh, later. Yeah. That is, um, that's a huge project, looks like. Uh, to me. We'll, we'll install that tomorrow. Wow, okay, we'll, wow, that we'll is We'll install amazing. that cabinet tomorrow. Okay, so um, sometimes you get here at six, sometimes at eight. <coughs> um, how many different projects are you working on right now? Like how many different residences? Right now we're working on four different houses. Four different houses, yeah. okay. Are they all sort of kitchen remodels or bathrooms? or? One, the, the one that this is going in is a total remodel. Uh, mm -hmm. Complete. I mean, the whole house. The whole uh, house. Wow. The whole house. Every every aspect of the house we've touched. Um, Would that include like the floors and the plumbing and the electrical? And wood floors, electrical lights. Wow. Uh, um, the roof. Plumbing. Uh, new roof. No, wow. we we don't do roofing. We don't. You we don't. don't okay. We, got, we have uh, AC roofing. Uh, mm -hmm. ACR roofing. It okay. has nothing to do with AC wood crafts. Okay. <laughs> but ACR roofing. And, and, huh? And ironically, the, the owner is, has my same last name, too. Is that right? <laughs> yes, Mark Anderson. Yeah. Nice. So, but uh, no, no, okay. rela no relation. He happens to be in our shop here. He's, at, oh, he's, he, he's got a spot. I've got several, referred back and forth. I've got several, several buddies who are contractors who I, I rent them out spots in the, in the warehouse because I don't need this whole warehouse. Okay. So, um, so you've got four different projects going. Four different projects. Uh, different They're types all at of different jobs. levels right now, um, but every one of them, Every one of them cabinets are going in, so you know we. This is our niche, you okay. know. With the, the the remodel work is is decent money, mm -hmm. and it's and uh, and that's something that we that we need to talk about is money. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the the remodeling is is it's hard work. Mm -hmm. it, don't anybody think that this is a piece of cake? Okay. This is not a piece of cake. It's hard work. It's hard work from from morning to night. Meaning uh, heart physical labor type, or it's it can be it can well, be very physical or it can be moderate moderately physical, but okay, uh, it, you know, um, it's not something for if you're not if you're afraid of getting your hands dirty, this is not for you. It's not your this career. This is absolutely not for <laughs> you. Okay, uh, but I have I love what I do. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love what it I do. It shows in your work. I can't wait to see yeah. uh, some of your work later. Um, still on a typical day. So when you get here in the morning. Um, some of your employees, how many employees do you have under you? Uh, right now we've got six guys working. Six guys, okay. And so they it. know their roles, they know what they're doing. Yes, and, we, and, we, and every one of them has their expertise and their forte, but almost every one of my guys can do just about anything that we do. Now are they contractors too, or what, no. what are they considered? No, they're employees. They're just employees, they're employees. okay. And they work under your license? Yes. Well, um, not about my license, they, have, they just work for me. They just work for you? Yeah, they don't work under my license. There's no such thing as working under a license. Okay, but if he, say, um, completes a cabinet job, you install it, you would be liable in case there was I'm 100% liable, I'm the owner. Okay. Yeah, they're, 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 not, they're not liable for anything. I'm the, I'm the, that's, a, that's, the other, that's the other thing with contracting. You're not an employee of a big company where at the end of the week you get a check, mm -hmm. and if 
you know, if that, that doesn't, oven doesn't work, well, so, so talk to Joe. I'll blame well, you. No. You're, the, you're the guy. You're <laughs> okay. the guy. And when that... It better work, God And when that, when that uh, <laughs> you know, when the gas, when the, the new hot water heater that you installed, even though you, you didn't build it, when it doesn't work on Sunday night, mm -hmm. guess who they're going to call? You're the guy they're going to call. But that's what you have to encompass, and that's what you have to understand. Mm -hmm. You have to be there for your customers, because that's what gets me. All of our work is all hands-on but it's also word of mouth everything mm -hmm. that we get i have so it better be quality in order to if you don't have the quality and you don't have the customer service you're not going to survive in this business okay you will customer not, service you will not survive in this business okay it expand is, on that customer service how is that relevant to being there like uh, you, sort of your social contacts give you a classic example mm -hmm. uh the job that this is going in uh gentleman called me on a sunday night at nine o'clock and uh um and it was a it was a mistake on 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 a combination of a couple of guys. They forgot that we were putting some skylights in, mm -hmm. and they were working on a skylight, and and it got late, got dark, and people and everybody forgot to put a tarp on the top, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden we got a rain mm -hmm. out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Well, I got a phone call at 9:30 at night, mm -hmm. and most guys wouldn't even answer the phone. Mm -hmm. I answered the phone, and I was up on that roof at 10:30 at night oh, putting wow. that tarp on. Okay. Hey, no wow, big that's deal. Very cool. No big deal. But that, that's what you have to do. Okay. You're responsible. Wow. If that rain comes in and ruins the the, the four thousand dollar wood floor you just put in, yeah. you're going to be eating that floor. Wow! So that's what I say by customer service. Okay. Uh, if the if we hook up the the refrigerator mm -hmm. and the water maker doesn't work, I, I will get a phone call. Mm -hmm. Our water maker isn't working. Well, we don't know if it's a kinked hose or if it's the refrigerator, but you need to go and check it out. Oh wow! And you can't turn around and say, okay, that's forty five hours for me for the service call. That was included you, in the original. You can't do that. You, okay. It's part of the deal. You How have to be is, there. How is, um, is your obligation ongoing? Is it like, say, for a year it's under warranty? I don't, I don't put a limit on it. You don't put a limit? I do wow. not put a limit oh, on it. Oh, very cool. I don't put a, put a limit. And that's why I have, that's I don't customer have, service I have no disgruntled customers. Everybody oh, wow. I have smiles. And I can, every, I can give anybody that wants to, that, that are thinking about hiring us and they say, can we get some references? Here's a list. Oh, huge. Okay. Uh, feel free to call. Very cool. You know, let's switch gears for a minute. Uh, okay. I'm curious, uh, the guys that are that are working behind you, your employees. Um, let's go through one of their typical days. Do they have a key to the door? They get Absolutely. here and then, and then they come in here and they're building cabinets or what? They, they might they be building cabinets. We might be. We also do wrought iron. We do we do wrought iron gates. It's one of our specialties. We, we do very very custom wrought iron gates. Okay, so for the exterior yeah, of a exterior property house. line. Yes. Okay. We do. Uh, we we build we build them here. Mm -hmm. Uh, you want uh, dolphins or whales or uh, I did one for one, one customer she we took a silhouette of her dog and I blew it up and I cut laser cut it cut out the the silhouette of her dog whoa and then uh, we cut in all the hair and everything and that's on what? her that's on her gates yeah so you're like an artist too sort of it, it's just a forte that I have and I love it you know wow. it's, it's fun it, I have a ball doing it making the cabinets and doing the the, the gates mm -hmm. it, it's like an art form Access. To me, it, to me, it is. Some people would scoff at it. You know, anybody can build a cabinet, and that's true. anybody it's can build, anybody can build a cabinet. But when you build the cabinets like we do, uh, and we're not certainly not the only one. Mm -hmm. Bill right here, he's a cabinet builder. Mm -hmm. Okay, he does a different type of cabinet. He does a lot of uh, high-end Santa Monica stuff, mm -hmm. and but most of his cabinets are painted. They get, they get, they, they somebody a painter comes in and paints them. Mm -hmm. I don't do any painted cabinets. Everything we do is natural wood. Now these employees. Um did you train them or, or did they come in with their own sort of? Many of them have a skill of hands-on, you know, working with wood. Mm -hmm. But as far as, as far as taking, taking wood and taking it d down to a fine finish, mm -hmm. and I could, I could bring up a door and show you what I'm talking about as a fine finish. So you just give them some, say, subtle instructions and then sort of let them go on their own way for a day or two of their own mm, type No, of they're usually with me. They're usually they're, with you? Yeah. Okay. yeah, they're usually with me. I mean, I, right. only, uh, not because I'm watching them, but we're just working together. I see. And it also, it's a, it's a fun way of spending the day together, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, shit, and there's, there's times, I've got a guy right now, he's, uh, he's trimming out a, a kitchen that we did. Mm -hmm. um, he's working by himself. Mm -hmm. But he knows what he's doing. You know, okay. we, we cut all the wood, we, we cut all the trim here, we put edges on it, we, mm -hmm. we engraved it, we did, and he's up putting some special trim. You can't even buy that trim. You, we have okay. to make it. Okay. We're still on a typical day. Um, so you get to the office between, say, 6 and the 8 in the morning. Right. You work in typical Monday through Friday type of work? Or we work, weekends? yeah, we work a lot of Saturdays. You work, okay, so work generally six days? Yeah. Maybe seven probably too. Right? As an owner, you can be, I can be here until, I'm usually here until seven, eight o'clock at night. Okay. Um, 
And I'm very thankful for mm -hmm. that right now because mm -hmm. we had enough with this recession, we had enough time off, mm -hmm. if you want to call it. You know, a lot, mm -hmm. of, a lot of time spent in looking for work and no work mm -hmm. out there. And now we're very fortunate that we have a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but yeah, we, uh, you know, the, the, the day will encompass uh, as of as today when we're done here I got to run to to the job that where these cabinets are going in tomorrow and Today the granite is going in on the cabinets that we put in last week. Okay, and and check on that and make sure that's all you know Everything's going status quo there then come back here and get back on this cabinet because we need to st install this cabinet tomorrow Okay, because I got to have that oven working on Saturday mm hmm and that's where, going back to the customer service, when mm -hmm. I promise this owner, when he comes back on Sunday, his wife's going to make him breakfast on his new counter. <laughs> oh, sweet. And no matter what it takes, I might be there all <laughs> wow. night, Saturday night. But if I make that promise, and that's the most important thing, if I can stress, do what you say you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Stuff happens. Mm -hmm. uh, don't give customers excuses. Mm -hmm. Tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. Truth always works better. Okay. You know, uh, if your guy didn't show up, just tell him, you know, my guy didn't show up. He's, you know, he's, ha he's having a baby and I'm here by myself and it's not going to get done in the time that it took. Mm -hmm. But as an owner, you don't work nine to five. Mm -hmm. Well, if you got to, if you were taking the, taking the wife out to dinner that night, you got to call the wife and say, I'm really, really sorry, <laughs> but we can't go to dinner tonight, but we can go tomorrow night. Okay. You know, and maybe your wife will bring you dinner down, you know? Mm -hmm. So. It's, it's part of, it's responsibility is the biggest part of being a contractor. Okay. It sounds like um, under this roof, you're doing a lot of building, uh, maybe some administration, mm -hmm. some, um, do you pay your employees out of this building yourself or? Well, they get, the, yeah, they get paid every Friday. Okay. So and do you write the checks or did you hire a, no, a service no, for that? No, we, 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 I pay them. I, we, we, you do I, it yourself? Yeah I, yeah, I had, when I was a big company, you know, we had uh, ADP do all our stuff mm -hmm. and now I just do it. It's you do just, it yourself? It's just easier. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's more hands-on and it doesn't take much time. Do you do any marketing to get your name out there or do you just rely on word of We're mouth? working on a website right now. Mm -hmm. uh, more of, of an information level than, than promotion. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when I'm talking to somebody and they say, well, you know, I'd like to see what, just, you know, without coming down to your shop or mm -hmm. going to these houses, mm -hmm. can I, see, you know, without me physically taking out pictures, mm -hmm. I can give them a link and uh -huh. they can just see, a, you know, a whole bunch of... But then again, some people, uh, some homeowners are, might be reluctant. They don't want their homes on a website. Okay. So, but I always ask, uh, you know, I, I haven't had anybody yet, mm -hmm. but there are, I know of several contractors that have had, run into that problem. You know, it sounds like you're doing a little administration here, a lot of building, right. and most of the installation at the actual property, at the residence yes. that you're working on. Yes. Okay. Um, so a typical day could be, generally starts out here under this roof mm -hmm. and could be ending up in any one of the, the residences that you're remodeling. Typical day always starts here and always ends here. Oh, it always ends here? Yeah, it always ends why, here. Why would you come back here at the end? I of the always, day? always come back for, uh, you know, just to check on things. If mm -hmm. nothing else, um, I'm, my guys work pretty much 7.30 to 5. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, my day never, my day's never over at five o'clock. Is this kind of the, the place where you keep all your tools or do you, yes. do you generally leave those in your truck? No, some tools are in my truck. A lot of my guys have their, have their, their hand tools and stuff in their, in their, in their vehicles. But, but all of our, uh, you know, this saw, this is a $5,000 saw. This, mm -hmm. you know, things like that, that stays here. Everything, mm -hmm. all of our, all of our quality, you know, tools stay here. Lock Good deal. Key. Let's talk about the pros and cons of this career. What, what, what is, do you love about being a contractor? Uh, somebody once told me it's like being on vacation. Uh, you get to name your, your destiny. Mm -hmm. You want to be successful. It's up to you. It's totally up to you. Mm -hmm. It's not up. No, but you don't have a, you don't ha you don't might not have a boss to answer to, but you have a lot of people to answer to. Mm -hmm. But as long as you say, as long as you do what you say you're going to do, you're going to be successful. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. Cause I've seen mm -hmm. so many, co so many contractors. You know, I'll be there on Monday and I'll give you that price. And they never show up. Hmm. You ca in, this, in this economy, I'm blown away by how many jobs I have. I got a beautiful job in Hermosa Beach. She called four guys and didn't know of us at the time. Again, this is a referral through a friend of ours. Mm -hmm. um, four, four different contractors. I'll come by Tuesday night. Then they don't show up. Because hmm. Tuesday night comes, well, you know, 5 o'clock, they, they go home. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. You know, in this in this economy, you have to go. You have to hunt. You have to go after it, and you have okay. and you have to you have to be competitive. Okay. You don't have to do it for free, but you got you know you need to make money. In this economy right now, when when things were fat, you could really name your price, especially at the beach. You know, at the beach, you could you know, you could make really good money. But uh, in this day and age, you've got to be competitive. But you got to do what you say you're going to do. And if okay. you say you're going to be there on Tuesday, you better be there on Tuesday. So it sounds like you like the social element of this career. It's you like incredible. interacting with. It's incredible. Okay. It's incredible. You're making friends. I have every pretty much every job that we've done in the last couple three years. I'd go over to their house for dinner. Wow. Literally. At their new kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're always invited. The whole crew is always invited to the grand opening. Of Do they the, get new pots and pans too to cook up the? You know something, a lot of times that'll be a present from us. You know, we'll, we'll, really? We'll, oh, yeah. We oh, that's all, we a nice all, touch. We, we I like always, that. We always do something special for them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. But uh, um, three of our customers, I was at their house on Thanksgiving. Wow. You know, we, I had to hit, hit each one, you know, because they all, I mean, I was stuffed, but yeah. <laughs> I couldn't eat it. I, by, the, by the time I hit the third one, I couldn't eat. You know what I love about your career? Um, you know, when a contractor, you know, comes into our home and, and they rebuild, <coughs> say, the bathroom or something. I'll go in there and I'll be like, wow, you know, my best friend Teddy installed these, you know, faucets. And it reminds me of, you know, you're making people's lives better. They live a healthier, richer, fuller life in a beautiful home because of you. Right. You know? Um, and to, to make somebody's home a more pleasant place to live mm -hmm. and to have everything working right, it, it's what a sense of accomplishment, mm -hmm. you know? It improves their finances, their equity. It, it encompasses so many different levels of a positive yeah it's a it, it's a it's it's an incredible experience when people come in you know and they haven't seen uh you know like this weekend this uh you know it happens to be some good friends of mine but they're not going to see their house uh, with the granite in until they walk in and everything's going to be done mm -hmm. and all of a sudden they they went from a living room that's done a den that's done and a bunch of cabinets in the in the, in the mix of everything and all of a sudden they're going to have a fully fully functional kitchen wow. and it's going to go and i'm not sending them pictures because they're up in they're up north right now yeah and they're just going to walk in on saturday night but on sunday morning she's going to cook him breakfast on there because i said they would wow so that's what you gotta and i and i know i will get a phone call at 11 o'clock on saturday night mm -hmm. and she'll be in tears and and he'll be ecstatic wow. in tears it happens yeah it happens and yeah, i mean and i can't tell you how what a good feeling that is Oh you man, know? that is awesome. And the money's good. You know, the money's good. The, mo the okay. money's good. The money's good. But the the important thing is, uh, you got to do what you say you're going to do. You mm -hmm. got to perform. You mm -hmm. don't get a check if you don't. Mm -hmm. And you don't. You shouldn't get a check if you don't. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a firm believer in uh, in being responsible. Cool. What is, what is not so fabulous about this career, if anything? What are the cons to this game? When you're when you're uh, you know, when you're waiting on money, if, you know, when, when money gets tight, you know, because mm -hmm. if you got three, four jobs running and, and you're, you know, money's, money's, uh, money's tight, it's, mm -hmm. it, you know, it gets, it can be stressful. Okay. It can be stressful. So sort of uh, inconsistent uh, right. revenue uh, right. jobs. Yeah. Things like that. Okay. Good deal. Do you have any advice for young people you want to share before we wrap it up? Uh, be happy with what you do. Be, enjoy what you do for a living. It's, and, uh, and, very it's it's actually rare that you get to do that uh uh find something that 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 interests you and do the research um don't necessarily go to school for eight years to do something that you have no intentions of ever doing it's a waste of it's a waste of your parents money it's a waste of your money it's a waste of eight years of your life i wish i could take those years back i wish i had those you know some of the years that i not, I don't want to say wasted, but spent on, on things that I shouldn't have spent, spent them on. I wish I had that, had that time. Um, but be, enjoy what you do for a living, whatever it is. If it's a badminton teacher, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to teach badminton for the rest of your life and that thrills you, do it and do it well. Okay, thank you, Barry. I appreciate you joining us. Okay, Freddie. Well, there you have it, how to become a contractor. I want to thank Barry Anderson and AC Woodworks for joining us today. I'm Freddie Cochran, your host. Take care.